this is a being, and it's hard to imagine that digital intelligence is a being. It's going to become a being that we're going to have to integrate into our existence. If we don't, then we're going to have, we're going to be out of, we're going to be out in left field and lost because we need to work with it. Same time, we need to find a way to integrate it into our lives without it destroying our lives. Well, I mean, by destroying our lives, when you have it take over all your responsibilities, it writes your papers for you. It does your, let's say your chores at home, even they're trying to get the robotics to do that wash the dishes and everything else. And everybody thinks, oh, every man in the world said, hey, that's great. I don't have to do all those chores I used to do. But at the same time, is that really good? Because what are you, what's keeping you alive? What makes you an individual? What makes you strive to, to achieve? And that's the whole thing. And that's the big problem with us being relevant. To be relevant, we have to still strive to achieve, even if we do it without a... Uh, but it would be better if we can find our a natural place where we actually are symbiotic to some degree.